maximum temperature in the workplace. But the TUC is calling for a maximum temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, at which point you would stop working. 27 degrees if you're doing strenuous work. Joining us now is podcaster Marvin Harrison, who says it's simply too hot to work in the office. And business owner Helen Ward, who thinks we need to stop <laughs> complaining and learn to, um, to, to cope with this heat. Uh, start with Marvin. Marvin, I mean... Morning. Really? I mean, are you saying primary school teachers have got to just send the kids home? I bet there's loads of people watching this programme at the moment thinking, I can't wait to get to the office. I, I, there'll be air conditioning that I might cool down. No, no, no. I, I, think, I think we have to really start looking at it. And I think if it's too hot, we start considering what adjustments can we make in our relative jobs to make it a lot more pleasurable experience. Also, we get like seven days of heat in the UK for the whole year. And we're going to like push everybody into work on the hottest buses, on mm -hmm. the hottest trains to navigate the city. And like, it's just not gonna be a really nice experience. And so if, if you're a business leader, it's a great opportunity to look at it and say, how can I help my team in this amazing heat wave? And if you have a chance to work in a place where we can go to the park for lunch or you can take the work from home, you should let them. That's a really, really good opportunity to kind of show up for your team. It's too hot. Yeah, Helen, you uh, work in a salon. In I mean, a salon, a hair, hair dryers salon. on, very, very hot. Curling today. tongs. Yep. Lot Overhead of heat. heaters. <laughs> a lot of heat. How no air conditioning? Air we have air conditioning for our clients and our staff. Oh, yes, good. we do. So and that, nice and frankly, do. that's the point, isn't it? If you work in an office or a business where there is air conditioning, of course it's not going to get mm. too hot to work because you just make sure that the air conditioning is set to cooler. But yes. what about offices, classrooms, businesses where you don't have air con? Surely there's a point at which it is reasonable to say, I can't work in, this con in these conditions anymore. But, you know, it's the UK. It's July. Mm. What do we expect? You know, have we turned rain. into a yeah, nation? Rain. It's no thing. <laughs> Probably rain <laughs> is what we expect. We don't yeah. expect all this heat. I mean, I think... Look, we can't work from home, as you say, and there are lots and lots of trades out there that cannot, don't even have the choice to work from home. You know, in the train strike, there was all that talk about, you know, work from home, work from home. Well, most of us can't, lots of us can't. If you're a chef, if you're a grill chef, today's going to be unbearable, mm. isn't it? But, you know, get over yourself. I mean, <laughs> honestly... Says, sorry, <laughs> Helen. <laughs> says the woman who works is in an air-conditioned room. Yes. I know, says I to know. The, As you say, says to the chef working in 30 degrees and, you know, in front of an oven, get over yourself. Well, look, OK, <gasps> my bro brother-in-law is a chef and, um, you know, today's going to be a, a nightmare for him mm. and I get it. And I think... Climate and you change, say to him, get over heard. yourself. <laughs> well, yeah, I will, but he's my brother-in-law, so I can say that. Um, you know, it's going to get worse. We need to gear ourselves up mm. for, these, for more hot days like this. But, you know, really? Come yes. on, it's four can or I five say days there, there was a train track on fire yesterday, OK? This, Britain is not built for this type of extremities. Okay, at 17 degrees, things work. After that, it starts to fall apart. And I think we have to make real concessions and think, how can we help people navigate this level of heat? But Marvin, our kids have had a lockdown. Mm -hmm. We've missed almost two years of schooling. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be hot this week. And so it's tough and you need to make sure there's water and kids got shade. But are we really saying send the kids home again? We, we don't have to send them so home. So primary we... school teachers don't work in 31 degrees. I mean, the TUC is not saying, you know, maybe. They're saying the law should be... 30 degrees, I have the right to say I won't mm. work. Is that really right? But do you know how brilliant it would be if we just changed the school day for this week? Because it's too hot to sit in a classroom and try to focus on anything of deep meaning. And it's also like two weeks before the end of term. Right. So let everyone go out in the playground. So you say to have parents, fun, get, get up at four out. in the morning, get the kids ready for breakfast, <laughs> five o'clock start, and then they can then come home at... Ten when it starts to get hot. No, no, this is the. We're so not when you say change the school day, I've <laughs> no, I mean the, like what happens in a day. Like we should hundred oh, percent. Like, this is going to be a day where you know get the water, the water out. Make it fun. Like actually use the yeah. times and what's happening around you. I agree. To ad adjust to the people that are actually working with you. It's so so important that we actually are present to the day rather than just we just do what we normally do every day regardless of what's going Helen, on. Helen, you've us. got important support here from uh, a viewer, AKD. Have we become a nation, nation of softies? Of not wanting to work because it's hot. During the Gulf War, we had no choice but to operate in 40 degrees heat with very little sleep, repairing and servicing missile systems. 
Well, exactly. I think the thing is, if we make this the norm, you know, what do we do when there's a storm? So it's a storm and it's torrential rain. Do we go, oh, it's we too wet to go to work? <laughs> is it too, it's too stormy to go to work. It's too... You know, where it's too where will it end? Mm, if yeah. we don't... You know, With happy staff, get a grip. really excited that they work for you because they now get the day off or they're now allowed to work from home. But who's or paying you just for the day in. off? Who's yeah. paying for the day off? Still, That's still the you, but do you know what? When you actually look after your team, they look after you and your business also because they want to keep working there. So yeah. people, like, people have this in, in, inbuilt like, desire to do. We don't want to just yeah. sit at home and do nothing. We want to do the thing we love, and so I'm sure you your team... You need to get Helen's air conditioning system. No, and I want to... I, I, I'm scared <laughs> to join forward. your company, but... Um, <laughs> I mean, Helen, thank you. My team, thank 30 you. years, they're all content, although they yeah. probably will be saying, can you listen to Marvin? Yes, yes. yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. the phrase, um, don't wrap people in cotton wool? Today is no, not the day... do that. To not the day <laughs> to be wrapped in cotton wool. Uh, thanks, Dave, very much. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Helen.